Okay, so today uh, I got requested to do my mustache candy cuff. Looks like this. Okay, um, I actually have the pattern right here. Um, this pattern you can actually print from the website candypatterns.com. Um, if you go to their website, you can pretty much just search whatever type of pattern you want. You can search from the number of columns, number of rows. Um, you can also search the type of design. So this is the mustache one. And I will put the link to this exact pattern in the description box. Um, this pattern, you're going to need 154 of your background color and 56 of your mustache color. Okay, and this just pretty much just tells you everything. The number one is the first row, number two is the second row, three, four, all the way up to 13. So you're going to have 13 rows. And in the end, you should get this. Okay. So, let's get started. So, for this, you're going to need some stretchy string. This is bead and stretch. You're going to need, obviously, pony beads. You can actually buy all of these at Walmart, which I suggest because Michael's uh, could be a little bit cheap, uh, not cheaper, uh, more expensive. So I would suggest Walmart. Okay, so I have my orange, and I have my white, and I have all these because I actually bought some more. Yay! <laughs> okay, so let's get started actually. Okay, so I started off with a regular basic. Uh, candy bracelet and I have 30 oranges so that's going to be the beginning right here and I tied it securely with a couple knots and coat it with some nail polish so it would stay and I have all this extra string I'm going to be using to loop through so find the end of your string which mine is extremely long. So now we're going to get an orange and loop it through and you want to make sure that when you loop it through you're going to go um, so see how the string is sticking out this way naturally? Just go that way. I think it's a lot easier. So remember to skip one and go to the next so it's going to look like that. And you're going to do that with another orange bead. So this is our first two. And remember to skip one bead and then go on to the next bead. I'm really sorry for this horrible lighting, but like, <laughs> I think it's like seven. Oh, it's eight. Never mind. Alright, and now you're going to get a black which I have over here. So organized, that's new. Okay, anyways. Once you've had two oranges, you're now going to go with your mustache color. So for me, it's going to be white. Keep in mind that you want your base color and your design colors to be different. Um, like if I use orange and yellow, it, the mustache won't really stick out that much. I went over this in my Pikachu tutorial. You want to make sure that your colors are different. So it won't look like it's blending. Okay, so now that you have two yellows, you're going to go with two oranges and then two more yellows. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to continue around with your base color um, until you get to the beginning over here. Okay, so I got to the end of the first row and it's okay if it's like this. Uh, it's going to go up, don't worry. Um, so as you can see my string is coming out of this bead. If you keep on going, your pattern is going to just look weird and stupid. So. You want to loop it through the next bead before starting the row. Um, row number three. 
Oops, wrong string. Okay. So now it's coming out of this speed, which is what we want. So when that happens, we start row two over here. But since you loop it to the next speed, we're now going to start row number three over here, not over here. So every time you do that, you will slowly move the row diagonal. Because if you keep going this way, then we do row two, and now you're going to do over here, it's just going to, everything's going to shift over. So keep in mind, after you do row one, you did row two, you're going to loop it to the next speed, so row three is going to start over here. And when you loop it to the next speed, next row, so diagonal. If you go this way, your pad is going to get messed up, which I actually got. Um, someone sent me a question saying why that was happening. I told them why. So, now you're going to start off with an orange, and then a yellow, not yellow, a white. That just goes to show you exactly how amazing my color skills are, you guys. Okay. So, just like that, and when you pull it, and, and the third row is when you're going to pull it, and it's going to start going up. So, yes. So now you're going to go with two more, so you, the whole right here is going to be seven, seven white ones. After you get seven white ones, then the rest of it is going to be orange. Pretty simple. I know. Um, mustache one, I think, is great for beginners because it's actually quite easy. So, I'm going to just keep talking. Takes a hold, don't leave me so cold. Your touch used to be so kind, your touch used to give me life. I've waited all this time. Remember to loop it to the next speed before starting the next row. Okay, so now we're going to start with a white. Okay, and now we're going to do eight whites. So, in every. So, you're gonna go around and do eight whites and then finish off with oranges. Got it? Pretty easy. Alright. Okay, so now the pattern has shifted again. So you're going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 white, and then you're going to go around with orange, and before you end, you're going to end with another white, and this is your fifth row. Source of strength I've traded everything That I love for this one thing
you're going to want to, before you start the next row, loop the string through the bead so it sticks out like this. Okay, so we just finished, not here, here, remember we went in a diagonal. Okay, so, yeah. So now you're going to go white all the way across. We're just gonna stop here. Don't put a bead over here because this is the end. From here, we're just gonna go up. So this is going to be a last white bead, and you're going to go orange all the way around, and don't forget to do a bead over here white.